Happy New Year, everybody. First of all, yes. this is our first episode of the year. We had to take a little slight hiatus. Um, you know, holiday, holiday time and mm-hmm. you know, give everybody a uh they family time and all of that. So we back now. We back. Destiny, what's been yeah. going on? Um what you do for a holiday? You give us the shorter, the shorter oh. version of it. You That's know, it. Christmas, That's New Year's. Um, was quarantined for Christmas. So that was uh, that was. Oh fun. wow! I didn't realize that. So you was literally by yourself for Christmas. Uh, Not really. Well, niggas don't really follow all the directions. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I was six feet apart. <laughs> but oh, no, damn, I couldn't leave the house. Out. I okay. couldn't leave the house. So there's that. But I mean, I wasn't like deathly ill or anything. So that was a blessing. I just couldn't leave the house. Um, my dad bought me a gun for Christmas. So that was um, uh, from the uh, previous stories. We were yeah, the previous stories. For show, so that was yeah. a good gift. Yeah, I needed it. So I went to the gun range a couple of times over break. Okay. That was uh, necessary. Uh, what else? Didn't do anything on New Year's Eve. Literally made, did I make wings? I feel like I made some. <laughs> he wanted Where you wings. find some wings at? I ain't been able to find no wings. They yeah. actually, do y'all have like a, do y'all have a Gordon's Foods down there? I think, no, we don't have a, a, a Gordon's, not, not around where I'm at. Oh, no. okay, well. Gordon's got wings. I I actually have been able to find frozen wings a lot really? recently. Yeah. But, well, Taco uh, Bell got wings. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Wasn't. Hold on. That's before you finish your story. <laughs> it's this guy I been I went to high school with, right? Mm-hmm. I jumped on his Facebook Live the other day. He was like, "All right." I'm um I'm trying these wings a second time because um you know I got COVID and I ain't able to taste them like I want to. It's like nigga, you tried those wings twice <laughs> because COVID refused to let you get the full taste of them. And then he bit into them. He was like, "Dang, these ain't nothing but some Coney Island wings." Man. <laughs> like nigga, like I'm looking at his life. I'm like, dog. You you got COVID and you really trying to f- defeat COVID to taste these wings like you really want COVID to turn down for a brief moment Ew. so you can taste these wings. Then I so I guess someone told me it's like a five piece. This nigga had two orders. He had <laughs> in the box. In the box. He said if I if they good, I, I want to be good. with them Coney Island wings. I was like, man, this fat motherfucker, man. Then he gonna say. All right, then later on that day in the status, he said, uh, I, I think I took a screenshot of what he said. He was like, I just I just need to start making better decisions where my life leads. Somebody was like, but you ate Taco Bell wings today. So where does it start there? <laughs> so, all right. Yeah. Not to interrupt, but I had to just get that one off real quick, man. Hey, I get yeah, it. And them, um, man, first of all, I mean, how... I mean, I'm impressed that they taste like uh, wing zings or Coney mm. Island wings, considering it's Taco Bell. Mm. <laughs> like, what more do we uh, expect here? But niggas ain't back there uh, battering up no chicken. It reminds me of buying wings at the Chinese food place. I just, it's not for me. It's a no for me. I cannot. Yeah, I hear you. Like, mm. who? idea was that Taco Bell got wings, Taco Bell and had fries. Like somebody like said it was air fried too because I know Taco Bell ain't got no damn deep fryers. Oh they do. They got deep fryers. That's how they take the shells. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I'm like, how the fuck is Taco Bell frying wings? Yeah. So just yeah that just doesn't sound like yeah. a great decision. Um but yeah I made wings and we had wings and sat in the house 
and watch. Oh, damn near missed the damn ball drop. Freaking dealing with that damn slow ass fire stick. I'm about to just oh. throw that shit away. I was mad, but. <laughs> Oh, so you was like, going to miss the whole just new yeah, year. literally just by the time on. it like Paramount fucking plus that trash ass app by the time it actually came on they were literally at 10. Oh they, that app is so trash. Like, <sighs> I see Rick Ross promoting something about that. He, he acted on a show that's on Paramount. <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, he, He's on um the Equalizer with Queen Latifah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Speaking of shows i need to watch abbott elementary that's that's on my list of things to do uh, not hip. no it's basically so quinta brunson wrote it mm-hmm. um so the pilot is on hulu but i think it's on like cbs but it's essentially basically it's like the black version of the office like okay. gotcha. it's, it's based at a school and it's a black school and the dude from Everybody Hates Chris is a teacher. And uh, basically, the teachers is niggas. Mm-hmm. And be leaving, leaving school, go get their nails done and shit. <laughs> yeah, really interesting, yeah. really. You know, typical everyday shit you see that happens in the classroom and in a school in general. Mm-hmm. So it's, it definitely has those uh, stereotypes all through there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I need to watch that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, my break was good. You won't see me having a drink for probably the next two months. I'm doing this 90-day challenge to lose 25 pounds in 90 days. So I'm trying hey, to cut year, back new the drinking. Hmm? New year, new you. You know, yeah. Yeah, I got things to do. Beaches to be on this summer, so got to get together. So yeah, that's that's pretty much been it. Like I really, I haven't been in this office. I haven't been in this office literally in probably like a month. I've been working from my bed. Honestly, I just don't turn the camera on. Long as long as everything gets done, it shouldn't matter. The shit gets done, but I've been in the bed. It's cold. It is fucking freezing in Indiana. I got a damn space heater in my room because my house is so big. It takes a damn act of God to heat this, keep this house warm. So I'm like, I'm not about to be paying crazy amounts to be heating all these rooms that I ain't even in. So I just yeah. got a fucking space heater and I be in my room. So I'm just kind of... D. That's all I got. I was the holidays for you. Oh yeah, you had an interesting little. Uh, yeah, yeah. This 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 holiday was different. We stayed in Atlanta this year, which which I definitely enjoyed. I was able to wake up in my own home for Christmas. <laughs> so that was a a good thing. I had bronchitis. I didn't have COVID. I had bronchitis. Um, the last week of my um last week of work before we went on winter break, and then the week going into Christmas. So I was all just yeah walking around with inhaler and shit. You know, and taking pills every three to four hours is like a whole ass regimen. But what I did pick up on though was the medicine balls at Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh yeah. Oh, nigga. Get you together. Uh, hey, them is uh, my shit, man. I was, yeah. Man, listen, I I live uh, by them even when you ain't sick. Like, <laughs> I fuck with them like they. I mean, they just did like that's my go to at Starbucks. I don't yeah. drink like. None of the uh, coffee-driven shit, but I will fuck with a medicine ball. Yeah. Sure. So I've been trying to get one, but the supplies is scarce in regards to being able to make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, here? yeah, here is either like they don't have the tea, or they ain't got the peppermint, or they ain't got the sugar, the lemonade. Like it's it's nuts around where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Because you know we stay um, northern. Atlanta, like we not too far from Atlanta, so we in the suburbs basically. Yeah, driving around here, you know, the Starbucks always stay with a line, you know. So trying to get one is just it's hard to get. Um, Christmas was cool, you know. We you know we cooked and everything, kicked it. Um, New Year's we went to Vegas to see New Usher, which was um definitely exciting. Like probably one of the best shows I've ever seen. Like literally. He really put on a hell of a show. Um, you know, 